Hello. Hello, hello. I, know, I noticed earlier on when the man was checking the, the thing here, yeah, he said, hello, hello. Why didn't he say, sin chao, sin chao? <laughs> it's an international language. Okay, my name is Alistair Macmillan, and I am from Zimbabwe in Africa, and I'm, but my parents come from Scotland. So in this short uh, presentation, I want to tell you about the IELTS exam in general. You will have time to ask some questions, and then we have a little mini game with some prizes. Do we have prizes? Yes, we have prizes. Okay, so preparation for IELTS. First of all, what does IELTS mean? What is the meaning of it? What does the I stand for? International, English, Language, Testing, System. Right. So, preparation. First of all, so first of all, we invite you to take a practice exam. A full practice exam to find out what your ability is like, okay? And this will help you to identify what you're good at, your strengths, and what your weaknesses are. Okay? So, the most important thing about IELTS is familiarity. That means, do you understand how to take the exam? What is the strategy? If you know how the exam works, it helps you to get a much higher score. Many candidates take the exam and they don't know what they're doing. Okay, so if you understand how the exam is structured, it helps you to take it more easily. So if you know exactly what kind of questions there are, what kind of, uh, is it multiple choice, is it a table, what do you have to do, how many words do you have to use for your answer, all these strategies are very, very important if you want to do well. You have to also be ready for the pace of the exam. What does that mean? On a Saturday, usually, well in Vietnam I think it's every day they have the tests, but you start with listening, which is 40 minutes long, and then you've got reading, which is 60 minutes long, and then you've got writing, which is another 60 minutes. And you do it boom, boom, boom. There's no break. That is the pace. So you have to go to bed the night before, very early. No Facebooking. Or whatever it is you do. And then get up early in the morning, have a very good sustaining breakfast, and go and do your test. Okay. So there are four parts. There are four parts. Different question types. And the four parts are... Oh, not four parts. Assessment. <coughs> Excellent team. Assessment criteria. So you can download the band descriptions for the for the public from the internet, and then you can see what you have to do to get 
a band seven, a band eight, a band six, a band five, whatever it is you're trying to get. So note down that uh, website and uh, that will help you. The other thing about IELTS is you have to improve your, your level of English. Okay, now I know that you all study English at school and you might take an IELTS course with us, hopefully, or you can take it, you know, you take it with us, hopefully. Um, but you have to do the work. You know that. So, if you were learning to swim, for example, you could read books, you can listen to a swimming teacher, you can watch YouTube videos about how to swim, but how would you actually learn to swim? By getting into the pool. By getting into the swimming pool. And learning how to swim. It's the same with IELTS, the same with learning English. You have to do the groundwork. And, you know, as, a, as an IELTS teacher, I've been teaching IELTS for almost 20 years now, I would love to give my students a magic pill that they can take and they can wake up in the morning and suddenly they can speak English. But it's, it's just not possible, I'm afraid. So you have to do the groundwork yourself. And how can you do that? Well, it's not just about test practice. It's about improving your vocabulary and your grammar and Remember, it's a proficiency test. How good is your English? How good are you? You've got two, and two hours and 40 minutes for your listening, reading and writing, and 14 minutes for the speaking test. 14 minutes out of your life. So, let's see. Try to listen to authentic, genuine English every day. So, for example, TED Talks, TV, radio, YouTube, podcasts, all right? Don't listen for half an hour or one hour. Listen for 10 minutes. If you listen for any longer, you'll go to sleep. Yeah? Slowly, slowly. 10 minutes today, 10 minutes tomorrow, 15 minutes after that, then 20 minutes. And you make it longer and longer. And then one day, you can watch a whole movie without stopping. A range of different accents, American accents, American, Australian, South African, British English, or maybe even a Scots accent. Single speakers, that's a monologue. Multiple speakers, dialogues, conversations. Can you have a conversation? Listen actively. Many people hear, they hear, but they don't listen. Yeah? You've got to listen to what people are saying to you. Um, and when you do the test, you have to focus on the information that is required to answer the question correctly. And that means listening actively not passively. Prepare for the reading test. Same thing, real practice tests. But the most important thing, I think, mark your test strictly. Analyze your errors, very important. If you make mistakes, go back and see why you made a mistake. And work on your weaknesses. Writing test. Learn the six main types. 
for task one of the IELTS test. You've got line graphs, bar charts, pie charts, tables, process diagrams, and maps. Very useful vocabulary. You need to learn it. And you practice. Practice writing complex sentence structures. So how to analyze a question? Um, a question like, uh, should every student do sport at school? Or all students should do sport at school. Do you agree or disagree? You agree. Why? You have to give reasons and examples, and there you can write a good task two essay. Speaking test, try to speak English every day. This is very difficult when you live in a monolingual country such as Vietnam or Thailand or Myanmar, but if you can speak English to a friend for five minutes, ten minutes. Hello, how are you? That's all you have to say. Talk about your hobbies, talk about what, what you do in your free time. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's the way you have to do it. You have to practice. And what else have we got? You can record yourself. I used to do this with students in Myanmar. I asked them to record themselves and then listen to it three weeks later. And some people would say, I can't understand it. Well, if you can't understand yourself, how can other people understand you? All right, so record yourself. And then, well, newspapers, I don't know if you have newspapers. Do you have newspapers in Vietnam? Yeah. Yes? Okay, so um, read in your own language and try to read in English as well. There are two very good English newspapers in this country. Um, and they are very good for practicing your English. So, take a practice exam, and we will give you one, a full exam, and we'll tell you how good you are, not how bad you are, how good you are, for I'm sure you are all fairly good. Hopefully you choose us. And this is the most important thing, everybody. Everybody wants to get a seven or an eight. But you need time to move up one band. Many people think they can just suddenly take an IELTS exam and get a band of seven. It's a difficult exam. It's a very hard exam. And <clears throat> I would find it difficult to do myself because it's all about strategy. But I'm sure that with time and practice, you will all do very well if you're going to take IELTS. So when you are going to take the test, three to six months before you take the test, you need to start practicing. Practicing the strategy, can you write an essay in 40 minutes? Can you write a task one in 20 minutes? Doing the reading, 
three texts, three, write, three reading texts in 60, 60 minutes, it's got to be done. And now we have a Q&A. Do you have any questions? Sometimes all four. You've got to listen to the whole conversation before you choose. 
your answer. I hope that helps. Okay. We had another question up here. Yes. And then you read around, you read before, you read after, you read up, you read down, and you try to find your answer. We also try to help you with the famous yes, no, not given. All right, so yes, no, not given. There are strategies for helping you to answer that. I hope that helps. Any other questions? Yes? Um, so, good evening, sir. Yes. And I have a small question. Sure. Um, so, uh, I was uh, doing uh, a writing test a few days ago, mm -hmm. and I find myself to uh, struggle with my time management a lot. Mm -hmm. So, do you have uh, any any tips for me uh, on the strategy to uh, manage your time more efficiently? Okay. Uh, are you talking about task one or task two? Uh, task two. All right. Task two. You got 40 minutes. Okay? But you're not going to write for 40 minutes. You're going to write for 33 minutes. Because you have to plan. You plan for 4 minutes. You write. For, if you plan, you'll be able to write quickly and easily. Think in English, not in your own language. Write as many ideas down. Choose 3. Start writing for 33 minutes, then you have to check your work at the end for two or three minutes. But if you write a plan, it's much easier to manage your time. So thank you, sir. All right. Anything else? So one more, two more. Mm -hmm. um, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, so, so, good, good afternoon. Good evening. Um, so, I have a question about the speaking test. It's my favorite skill, but also the skill I prefer the most. So, I always get nervous when I take it. Uh, I ask for my friends' advice, and they told me to relax and. Uh, just consider your judging as my friends. But that advice um, made me wonder that whether the judges will disrespect respect for some time, and uh, I really want to know your opinion. Okay, so the, the speaking test is scary, but 
you must try to remember that the examiner is not there to judge you. The examiner is there to give you opportunities to showcase your English ability. They want you to do well. So, it's hard to relax, of course, because it's, it's you know, it's maybe your life. But, <laughs> um, I would try to keep that in mind. That, that they don't... Another thing about the IELTS speaking test and the writing test is you don't have to tell the truth. You can make it up. It can be pure imagination. But as long as you can give a sensible answer, they're not, we're not interested in what you say, we're interested in how you say it. So sit back, listen to the question, and try to answer it. Always try to give an answer. And remember, it's okay to um and ah. Um, um, or I didn't quite understand your question. Can you rephrase it? You can do that in part three. Okay. We have one more here. Uh, first of all, nice to meet you, sir. Nice um, are you fine with uh, me asking a off-topic question? Sure, why not? Now, have you been to Britain or just anywhere in Britain? Oh yes, my parents are from Scotland. Have you tried their tea? Their tea? Yes. I love tea. Yeah. Between British tea and Vietnamese tea, which country do you think has the better tea? <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's a difficult question because your tea here in Thailand is green tea. Okay, so green tea is lovely on its own as, as green tea. But I am not, uh, I like green tea, but I prefer black tea with milk. And the best tea comes from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka? Yes. Sri Lanka, Kenya, India, black tea. I've always thought that British people have the best tea, but they get it from Sri Lanka. But good question. <laughs> so I do like your tea as well. <laughs> That's a good question. I like it. Right. Shall we have Shall we have the mini game? Yes. So we've got a little game for you. Um, crazy. Okay. Yeah. You've got a question. Right. Last question. It has to be the last question. I'm afraid. <laughs> I want to ask that, is it beneficial to use that very hard group to remember work? To remember work like you know, some medical related work? Sorry, I'm not, not catching you. Is it okay to use? Um, it is beneficial to use like long words or the medical related work. Long words? Like you know new model which are microscopic telephone kind of glass. Oh. Well, you might get a smile out of the examiner, but they probably go, ah? <laughs> so, no, I would stick to simple words. Not, not as complicated as that. Another question. Yes. Uh, is it able to have a break during the test? Because, you know, it's like a two hour long test, and if I have a very really bad like, breakfast, and during the test, I have a real bad idea. So, can I go to the toilet? <laughs> if you have to go to the loo, it's called the loo, by the way, in, in Britain. The lavatory, the toilet, is called the loo. If you have to go to the loo, you will lose time. You will, no, you, you will not get extra time. So try not to have the run, the runs when you go to pilot's test. Okay. He's got long hair. Long hair in the school. Hey man. Last line.
last class. First, uh, good afternoon to you. Yes. Uh, I have want to know something to help me learn grammar. Um, I remember very well, but um, when I do it, I kind of, uh, often make a mistake. Gram grammar is the worst. You have to get a good grammar. Um, I remember very well, but I often make mistakes. You have to practice. Practice, 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 practice. The only way. Okay, thank you. I have to go and teach online <laughs> to people in a long dog. Um, so, mini game. Shall we do the mini game? Yeah. Yes, are you ready? You've got to put your hand up, okay? Yeah. So, first question. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. What wears a cap and has a neck but no head? Yes! A bottle is the correct answer. Oh, well done, well done. Is she going to pass? Good, good try. 
but it's not quite what we have in mind. This is a difficult one, I think. I found this difficult, difficult when I was doing it. Yes, at the back. I have to say, a shoe. A shoe! A shoe! A shoe! Club. 
Yes, we get snow. It's battery. A battery. Okay, what is so fragile that saying its name breaks it? Yes, a gentleman with a mask. My answer is a secret. A good, very good guess, but not the one you want, I'm afraid. Yes, look at the handle. Yes, yes, that's okay. My answer is silent. Ta da! Silent. Very good. Okay. Now we've got some. What never moves but travels across cities and over hills? Let's take a different man. Yeah. Oh, okay. The sun? I'm afraid not. Uh, okay, let's, sorry, let's take that man over there. Sorry. A map? Okay. A road? A road is the answer.
that's, that's the best part. So, who do I speak to now? Thank you for your warm welcome. Miss Daisy!